What is up everyone? It is Lizari here. Welcome to or back to my channel. I have been wanting to film this video for a long time and when I get anxious about wanting to film a video, I start just searching for all different types of videos. I go for trendy, I go for popular, I go for viral and it's just like why am I always trying to go for the trendy and what the trendy girls do when I'm not even a trendy girl. So I decided that I was going to test my creativity and film a video without even having a plan. Like I know the general vicinity of the video I wanna do is like about self care, but I'm not gonna like label it yet until I post it. So I had tried to film this video earlier today. For today's video, I'm going to be trying to give myself a self care day. And I cleaned my room um, because that was gonna be like the start of the video because when I do wanna do something to make myself feel better about myself, I first like to have a clean environment. So I cleaned my room, I have chores that I have to do, I have homework that I have to do, and I had other plans that I wanted to do as well that I just haven't gotten to over the weekend. But yeah, um, I started filming this video at like 12 one and then I cleaned my room for a very long time and then I just basically like got into a little slump. Um, but I posted a video just now and whenever I post a video, that's when I get the most motivation to film another video or just like get active. I don't have a list or anything. Literally, I'm just going off the top of my brain. And right now I feel musty. And that is because Miss Girl has not wax shaved or anything in like two months. So there's a forest currently under my arm. As of right now, I want to wax. So I'm about to plug in my wax thing and get started on that so that I can get all waxed up. I was trying to figure out if I wanted to put on a bra for this video and I was just like, no. So that's why you guys are up at my head. I should not be waxing over here. I don't know where to wax. I'm about to lay a towel down. I'm like a really big germaphobe and I had big waxing sticks and they fell on the ground so I threw them away. So now I only have these little ones to use which was so smart of me. Stupid. The whole point of this video is basically by the end of it to have grown up or have taken care of myself or have spent time with myself. Body body. For my body lately, basically I've been dealing with being musty and I'm trying to fix it. I'm trying to improve on it. So that's why I've been drinking chlorophyll. And I feel like when I first started using chlorophyll, which was like five months ago, it had some like positive effects. It was working at first. So now I hope that I can continue using it every single day. I usually fill it up to around here and then I'll just put like two drops of chlorophyll in there because it's really strong. And if you put too much, it can taste like dirt. But I'm sure it has the strongest effects when it tastes like dirt because nasty things are always healthy for you. This These beads are still not melted. Other than that, recently I quit my job. I quit my job in May, but I do babysit. So that's been like a decent amount of income coming in. Right now I have like $15 or something. We're getting more personal on this channel though. But I guess we'll talk to you guys about future plans since these beads do not want to melt. Um, Coming up, I plan to learn Mandarin. I'm very interested in international film. This summer I wanted to get a job, I wanted to be more creative and I wanted to learn a language. I haven't started any of those. I'm also in a play for next year. Like we had an early audition last year. I have a lot of parts in the play and I have a lot of lines that I need to learn. I literally looked at the book once. I need to start on that. And then I just need to just be more productive and just find motivation to do things and just make sure that I'm actually happy with the things that I'm doing because I'm very blessed and I feel like there's a lot of things that I don't struggle with. It's hard to know the difference between things that you're good at and things that you actually enjoy doing. I really enjoy doing YouTube. Whenever I post a video, I always feel good like about myself. It gives me motivation to actually get up out of my bed. I woke up and got out of my bed at 8 this morning. Um, I am actually currently in summer school. Hopefully tomorrow is my last day. So like it's kind of been like the regular school year for me. I also had camp two weeks ago. So I've just been running around a lot. I actually enjoy drawing. I want to start drawing. Um, I have a tablet. I downloaded Procreate and I've done a couple of drawings and I just realized like you can draw and sell those drawings to people. Or like I can draw and like and post it on TikTok and maybe get some views and some money from that. But yeah, these um, beads are melted so I'm about to start getting ready to prepare for the waxing. I'm sorry about the stripes. I know they can be annoying but right now what I'm about to do is the big reveal. I was talking to my cousin yesterday and I was like I told him, I said, raise your arms. He raised his arms. I said, oh my gosh, we twins. With the wax kit that I have, it came with some other things. Like this is after wax treatment and this is pre-wax treatment. So we're going to use the pre-wax. We're just going to spray it underneath the arms. 
Um, then I'm going to rub it in and then wipe it out with the paper towel. Just wipe it out. So the only thing in my armpits is must. It's like that middle school must. Like I'm about to be a senior in high school. Um, anyways, next I take some Johnson's powder and I also put that under my arms to prep for the wax. It like kind of stops with the burning underneath my arms because I do burn sometimes because I have sensitive skin. I was not prepared to be about to wax. Be prepared. Look how little that little section is. This is hilarious. Okay, so we have that. And I just wait um, like 10, 15 seconds. It's a lot better than shaving to me. It gets better results. Ooh, I'm not ready for this. Okay, it's not that bad. Okay, remember, it's not that bad. <sighs> oh, are you supposed to breathe in and do that? No, you're supposed to breathe out. Okay, there's there's hairs in there. Can I see? Okay, you can see the hairs from the side. This is ridiculous. Why would I throw away the sticks? And I just know when I threw away that stick, I was like, oh, I could just buy another one. Like, Miss Girl, you don't even have a job. It's funny though, because I had not planned to quit my job until like next week, but I quit it like two months ago. That just shows like how kind of impulsive I am. Toothbrush, who wants it? Selling it for $9.99 right now. Okay, I'm just gonna clean this up and come back to you guys because this was about to take me a long time. You guys are intermission because I could not get this piece out. The middle is bad, yo. The middle, <laughs> this piece right here. Ooh. So it's now 6.34 p.m. Um, it's been like an hour and 34 minutes. Um, I'm fully waxed now. Um, geez, these hiccups. My armpits hurt. <laughs> so I found um, something on Safari and it was like, um, exfoliate your armpits, do this. Basically it's in everything that I usually do, but it was like ice. And yeah, ice. This feels amazing. Hey y'all it is two days later um i have to leave in an hour and 57 minutes but as of right now i just want to go and shave my legs and also i want to shave my arms because i used to shave my arms a lot when i was younger like um it's been like a year or two since i've shaved my arms they're not bad they're just little hairs so i just want to shave them and get back into the little me that i used to be All right, you guys, so I am now out of the shower and I'm just gonna show you guys what I do after my shaving process. So first I take some petroleum jelly or cocoa butter. I put that on my knees and like my joints. And then I also put it on like my ankles and places that I cut, basically all over. I don't know why I'm like explaining exactly where I put it. Put some on my arms. All right, it's been so long since my arms have been shiny, y'all. But now I'm gonna take some Vaseline lotion. And I just put this on right after to also moisturize. It also helps smooth out the Vaseline because the Vaseline will like 
sit on my skin and then rub off to other things i'm gonna take this um hibiscus paradise bath and body works lotion and this is like for the scent and then i finish it off with some baby oil Alrighty, and that's it when it comes to the skincare. But ooh, she's greased to the gods. I wanted to also do a facial right after doing my body, but I just don't feel comfortable washing my face and then going outside and then come back inside because I have to wash my face again before I lay it on my pillow. I don't think I'll ever, ever be able to just come home and lay in bed. Right now, I'm about to go to my teacher's house with a bunch of other students for drama club. Anyways, y'all, I'm about to finish getting ready and I'll probably see you guys tonight to do a facial because like I said, I don't want to do a facial before I go out. So I'll come back and then show you guys my whole facial process. Hey y'all, it is currently 11.13 p.m. and I just got home and took a shower. If you guys seen earlier, I tried to record a clip of when I went to Walmart. I got these cotton pads because I didn't need them. I always give a reason. I've seen these tea tree oil moisturizing foot masks that I also wanted to try. I'll probably do those tomorrow. And then lastly, I got some tweezers because I need to do my eyebrows. To wash my face, I usually use these CeraVe products. I use this one the most when I'm in the shower. I use this one bef like right after I take my makeup off and then I use this one after this one because it's like a foaming one. But I don't use these ones the most because they can dry and they have a lot of other things in them. The months of May to August, I get these little bumps all over my skin. And it's just annoying because I don't know where they come from and I get these weird breakouts, but I, I haven't been getting like really big pimples like in a while. Um, but anyways, like I said, let's get to the facial. First, I start by wetting my face and then I'm going to take my cleanser. This is like aesthetic. Go all over my face with that. Then I use this thingy to try and just like push in the product more into my skin and get a deeper clean. I really would just use this, but I use my fingers to make sure that I apply the product all over. Wash that off. Now when my face is still wet, this is not an everyday thing that I do, but I'm gonna take my little hand razor thing and I just go over my face to get rid of this mustache that's been here for a while and just any other hairs on my face. All right, now that my face is washed, I'm gonna take some witch hazel just to go over my eyebrows and the rest of my face in which is kind of agitated. It kind of burns because this one has alcohol in it. So now um, that my face is all cleaned off, I'm gonna take this little pill face mask and put a little bit on my nose because my nose has been feeling textured. It's rough and you can tell that there's a lot underneath my skin. So this is the mask. Now, this little mask is supposed to sit on for 10 minutes, and while that's waiting, I'm going to brush my teeth just using my Crest whitening and then my toothbrush.
Do you guys see how much more shiny my face is? I was gonna do a sheet mask, but I don't feel like it. So lastly, what I do is I just put on some facial moisturizer. This is also CeraVe. Um, this is just the regular daily facial moisturizing lotion. I literally like had barely anything in here. I've been like scraping up everything that I can get out of here. I finish off with some Vaseline. I'm just putting that on my lips. I did scrub my lips a little bit with that little scrubber tool. And then I also scratched my eye. I don't know if you guys can see it. So I'm just gonna put some Vaseline on that as well. Cause it's been hurting lately. But yeah, anyways, I'm about to go to sleep. But um, let me just show you guys what my face is looking like right now. Good night, you guys. It is 9.55 a.m. in the morning. I just woke up and last night I stretched my hair because I don't like to use heat on my hair. So I tried to use this like rubber, not rubber band, this hair tie method. It doesn't look as stretched as last night, but it looks like it's still pretty good. So I'm about to go film a TikTok, take these out, and then I'll come back to you guys to start on the hairstyle. If you hear these cleaning people outside, please ignore it. But this is how my hair turned out from the stretching with the headbands. And it turned out pretty nice. It turned out pretty similar to when I regularly blow dry my hair. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on my hair. And for my hair, I decided that I'm going to be doing um, triangle braids with an under green. Let's go ahead and get started on this head. I'm also gonna be filming TikTok, so I'm gonna be going back and forth. am three braids and one section in my braids are going to be jumbo so there's not going to be that many sections that's what they came out looking like so far i'm doing color two sections and then the rest is just going to be black um there's probably going to be about seven sections and it's taken me about an hour to 40 minutes doing this one section so hopefully i can get it quick because i want to be done by like 3 30 with my hair i'm about to go eat real quick because i haven't eaten this morning and then come back to my hair and hopefully speed through this i'm now done with the second section that's what it's looking like. Leave it to me to do something when I only have a few hours to do it. I do that all the time. It's called procrastination, right? So I have exactly about two, three hours to get my hair done. So yeah, let's run guys. Let's get it out. Let's go. Ah. All right, you guys, I am done with another section. And my plans for tonight and why I was rushing is because I was going to go to watch this show, Beauty and the Beast, with my uncle at 5 30. However, the show got sold out, so now he's taking me and my brother out to eat at 7.30. I love it. I'm obsessed with my hair right now. I am obsessed. Like, it looks so cute, like cool right here. Do you guys see that? I love it. Hey y'all, so it is currently like 7.25, 7.30. I don't even know what time it is right now, but this is what I've got done so far. I think I did pretty good on the parts. I ran out of gel and I went to the store to go buy some yesterday and I don't know why I didn't buy two when I know that it runs out fast. I don't know why I keep buying it. But anyways, yeah, this is what my hair is looking like right now. I still have a little patch in the middle, but like I said, I am going to go eat dinner. So I'm going to start getting ready for that because I don't have enough time to finish it. I'm probably just going to put my hair in a ponytail to cover this up. All right, I'm finally back home from going out to eat and it was really good. But now I got to do this dookie braid i gotta finish this dookie braid i forgot i had it in my head i was trying to film a cute tiktok and then i turned around and i seen <laughs> i seen the braid in my head and i was like what the heck so i'm about to finish this on camera since i realized i didn't really film me braiding so yeah i'm just gonna finish these last three braids i think
Good morning, you guys, or should I say afternoon since it's actually like 3.25 p.m. right now? Yeah, I woke up super late. I slept for 11 hours last night. I went to sleep at like 4 a.m. And then I just woke up at like 2.10, um, posted a TikTok, and then got in the shower and got ready because I have to leave at 4. So right now I'm just going to finish off this video by finally doing my nails. I think it is officially... I think it is officially day six since I have been filming this video. We're just gonna start with my feet because they look atrocious. Wash feet in four warm water dry, just did that. Open the pack gently, 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna open the pack gently. Okay, I've never tried a foot mask before, so I'm scared. Okay, it's like, it's like, um, it feels like a pad. Put these on. Ew, it feels jiggly. So I just put my feet in these. Let me show you guys what my toes are looking like right now. Look at my toenails. Like, they've just been growing out. They This one chipped off. They just look atrocious. Look at this one. And then this one is literally falling off. Like, feet mask. With treatment period, it foot mask it loose. Do y'all hear me? Can I read? Let's start the timer then. Whilst my feet are in the mask, we are gonna go ahead and do my nails. So I'm just gonna start off by cutting them. Um, this is what they look like right now. For college, I have the general idea of what I wanna do, what I wanna be in, like what type of college I wanna go to. Like I wanna go to an HBCU. Um, so we'll see like if I change my mind on that because really I just wanna go to whatever college is best for my major. Usually that's the reason. Like I'm pretty content with wherever I am. And like, I don't, I do miss people, don't get me wrong, but like, I don't ever just cry or feel sad, but you never know. If you're staying away from home for like 10 months, almost a year, it probably does make you a little homesick. What I want to start working on is like validating for myself. Like I don't really speak up for myself that much and get things done that I know that I need to get done for myself. Like if somebody asks me to do something when I have plans for myself, I will cancel those plans for myself and do stuff with people. I mean, because YOLO, but like, it's like bad. Like if I'm doing schoolwork and somebody invites me out and I'm just like, oh yeah, I'm about to come like, and not do my schoolwork, that's not gonna be good for my college life. It's not good for my high school life. I just filed down my nails a little bit. Uh, budgeting in the future, that's gonna be fun. And checking on my funds, making sure I'm getting in the right amount of money. And that stuff is fun to me because I love planning things out and I just, I love working hard for stuff like last year for that school trip I was talking about that I went to for a few days I literally paid for it by myself I mean somebody did help me my aunt did help me thank you for that but like the rest of the money I literally paid by myself and that was a lot of money y'all it was fun to get and I wasn't stressed at all like the last day I was stressed because I was being dumb and I spent all my money when I know I had to spend on the trip and like the trip was like $200 left and I had like $100 on me but then my friend was like hey did you pay your bill yet like they dropped down the prices I was like what man I went and paid that ticket off so fast I was so happy and I had money to spare like then I went shopping it was so much fun so I bought these nail polishes a while ago and we are going to do this nail art thingy. This is what the original nail art looks like. And then I'm just gonna try to recreate that with my nails. It doesn't really show up that well. So I'm going to switch the colors. I'm gonna use this little one. It's like a sparkle one. My nails are now done. I'm in love with them right now. And my feet timer already went off um, like six, seven minutes ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and take those off. I just washed my hands and now I'm about to put some cuticle oil on. I put it on my nails and feet and then just rub it in. If you couldn't tell, I filmed this video a while ago. 
School for me starts in a few days, so this was like midsummer. But anyway, that'll be the end of this video. I really didn't film an outro or like a glow up section, or it really was just a time for me to spend by myself and just make myself feel good and talk about the things that I want to come and just be myself kind of. That'll be all for today's video. Be true, be you, go ahead with your bad self. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Let me know down below if you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys would like to see anything else like this from me. Bye, everybody. Peace and love.